Hello, I am Bentham, and welcome back to Vectorio Massa with Arumba, Avak, and Stijo. Merry Christmas, guys! Oh, is it Christmas, this one? Yep. Oh. You, you planned ahead, wow. That's that's a lot. Yep, good, good job. Well done, Bentham. <laughs> we we well all... Done. What are you talking about? It's Christmas Day. We all opened our presents, and then we, we went back to recording. Um... No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> let, let, let them help. You gotta maintain the illusion. No. <laughs> the illusion that everyone knows is There's real. No illusion. Okay, so how are, how are you wanting to do this then, Avak? Well, the presents or no, the train. <laughs> you just want to do two of them? What are you uh, call yeah, it? I don't think we're gonna need more than two. You gonna call it the Hodgepodge train? Hodgepodge. Up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's got sure. all kinds of stuff in it. I mean, what are we gonna call it? Well, there's two trains. You can wait. Are you, what are you naming? Are you naming the stations or something? Yeah. You can call them Hodge, Hodge and Podge. 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 Yeah, but then we'd need to send trains to specific places. We'll just call it Hodgepodge loading. I'm not even sure if that's how you spell Hodgepodge. I don't care though. Really. I would say it's like dodge, except with a hit and a put. A hit and a put. A hit and a put. Uh, all right. Then. Well, I've got H O D G P O D G E, because I I can't figure the E would go on the I don't know. English frightens me when it comes Hot to E. So many of them are silent, and I just don't know that it has strange rules. Mm. I it usually I has an E on the end of the of the hodge. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. Usually, with this. like this happens often, like with the hodgin and the podgin. Yep. Well, in in the uh, the occurrences then... where I've seen the word hodgepodge. What's the what's the base's uh, omni sta uh, omni unload station called? Depot. 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 Called the kettle black. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish there was a way that we could just copy um, train settings though. Uh, wow, do I wish there was a way for that. It, can you copy train settings like that? Yep. Yeah, I thought you could. Yep. Wow. You can also copy train colors like that. Even cooler. That's the point. These trains oh, should no. have their own special color. No. So we can categorize them. No. Well, you're just no fun then. I mean, I used to do colors that, are great. That is so much work. So are these just your your hodgy podgy ones. Yep. Okay. Podge podge. Not even that it even averages stuff out. The issue is <laughs> like the way it averages stuff out. It, uh, it breaks when you've got multiple things in the same chests. Yeah. Also, oh, does it? the yeah. inserters start to act really stupid when you've got... Uh, right, yeah, just take out just take out the averaging then, because there's an... Different item types. Yeah. They can only pick up one item type at a that. time. They can't pick up 12, like, different items, so... Yeah, didn't think of that. Just go ahead and uh, set that up. Which is a shame, because it'd be nice if it would work, but yeah, it doesn't... There you go. Now, after specifically removing it and setting up belts, so once again we're going to have to introduce uh, bot based plate transportation. Hey, that's why I originally had them all set up as separate things. Okay? But now we're changing that to all bot unloading. Not my At this point, we could have just set up a new station and had them delivered to it properly. That was the original idea. Just have a single station which would always unload iron. And we can do that later. That's actually a really easy thing to set up. That's not going to be a problem for us. These trains are so close together, it makes me nervous. They're like sitting right next to each other. <laughs> I know, there's no room to get away. If you're stuck on the track, you're dead. And it's glorious. Glorious and fun and glorious. Uh, right, well, let's, if we can get that hooked up, then... Oh, yeah, yeah, beacons are back, by the way. Unload two of them at a time. I think this map is just permanently laggy for me now. 
Oh. We've reached that point. Poor old Bentham. What's your FPS UPS up? Like 35%. Is, well, well, oh god, I pressed F6 instead of F5, and that's a much more horrifying screen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> FPS is hovering around uh, 10. 10? Yep. Really? Oh, I can't move now. Wow. Is this normal? Apparently, the F6 key F6? caused me to lag behind the game. Yeah. F6 gives me 10 FPS. No, no, that was when I was looking on F5. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you're you're behind. You're definitely behind. Well, you're playing on like a 17 year old laptop, oh, right? No, it's it's, it's like one year old. But why a laptop, though? Why why would you buy a laptop? <laughs> because I, I need it to be portable. But why? <laughs> because he uses his for school. But, yeah, but why? Why, <laughs> why do you do that? <laughs> why See, do you go to school, why Bentham? Why do you need to learn? But what why not like, buy? You could buy like a hundred dollar netbook or something. You know, like a little piece of shit. Take that school and then buy like an actual real computer. No, what it is it is just... that I need to be able to travel between university and home, and record videos at both locations. Ah. Don't say buy two desktops. <laughs> just I still, I still <laughs> but why not? <laughs> I think I should go to like a boombox. I used to do that. I used to move my uh, my. We used to use take our desktops. You used to carry desk desk land, Wow. Okay. For land parties, yeah. Yeah. yeah same. Oh, well, the land parties. Yeah, but I'm I'm I'm. It makes I, sense I, for I was those. sort of thinking he should just go to class carrying his yeah. desktop. Oh, I mean, you can get oh, half yeah. ATX and take that a class, I suppose. Or you can just yeah. like take. On the you plus know, side, like, you would what I used to do. Was all hell if you started doing that for long enough. Oh, what I used to do, you know, I used to take this uh, fantastic piece of equipment. It's called a uh, a notepad. Yeah, and no, I'm not talking about like a, one of these technological marvels that like you can type in, not that type of notepad. An actual, you know, it's made out of dead trees, so it's perfect. What? Yeah. This sounds like a tale from the before times. <laughs> yeah, I used to take that to uni. Got through two degrees with that. Strange. One of these pieces of technology. Degrees of what? Degrees of Fahrenheit. Oh, okay. Now, I'm fairly certain you're talking heresy at this point. Yeah. Pretty certain that this is now heresy. There's actually shillings and farthings back in those days. That's what we actually measured temperature. Oh, in the Arumba times. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this, this goes even farther back. <laughs> so we were uh, farther back in the before times. Arumba must hate us. <laughs> no, I've, I've, I've just gotten very good at tuning you all out now. I've learned. <laughs> I don't listen to you anymore. There's very little reason to. <laughs> we we are not oh, making God. any science. I know it's not a big deal or anything, but I think it's been like that for a while because of the steel. Oh, uh, it's steel. Whoever well, set this up is dumb. <laughs> wow, it's just straight up dumb. Who was it? <laughs> I'm not gonna name names. Go on, who was it? I'm, no. I'm running. I'm fucking lagging it towards. It's whoever you. doesn't <laughs> like chain signals. Ah, Bentham, you're dumb. Was it, there was, uh, like, don't, I'm just, I'm just quoting. I'm literally just quoting. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Is, it, okay. is this because? Yeah. I think I know why. I have, I have reasons. I'm fucking charging, man. But I'm too slow. I've, I've already fixed it. It was one ah. chain signal. That's all. It fixed ah. everything. Just one, one single chain signal fixed. No, the, the reason is because when I built the wait up here. No, 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 no. Oh, right, right. I'm, I'm fucking standing beside that. I know what one it was. Ah! Cool, it? What the, what? What happened? I I fucking despise these tracks being so close together. How did that piece of track get mined? I don't understand. How come you guys were saying we didn't have any steel? There is a completely full belt of steel. 5,000 steel in the provider chest. Like, we, we don't have steel. Is that why just is a still, temporary why issue? Is, why is it not getting to the, the belt? The bus? Is that provider chest outside logistics range? Uh, no. Hmm. The requesters. We have any trains here. The requesters That's... are outside logistics range. Yeah. There oh, you go. Issue. Oh my god! Okay. Look at this! Look at Found it go! I wonder how long that's been the problem. Fucking while. Uh, no, actually, because the the steel belt was pretty bad. There we go. 
I, I can attest to that. The steel belt was empty for a long time. And the, the reason there wasn't a chain signal is because when I set it up, there were four stations that all had a particular train yeah, dedicated no, to that, that's That is fair. That is completely fair. Um, why is that? Oh, I'm stuck in place. Fine. So that's flicking on and off, but the power isn't flicking on and off. There's a wire connected somewhere. Oh! <laughs> okay. We've just got a, a switch that's flicking on and off for the good of itself. Oh, yeah? No criteria for when or any no, no, reason? There's a, there is criteria, but it's not attached to any sort of copper. It's just flicking on and off. It's like, yeah, well, fuck this. <laughs> nice. Why is this? There we go. Now it's got the ability to flick on and off. That certainly is a lot of uh, iron and copper storage. This should be iron plates. Mm. Well, I'm not going to be making any more outposts for a while, so I'll start going down. Oh no, that one's iron plates, alright. Oh, well, scallywags. This, this save's just slowly getting worse and worse for me. Oh, really? I fear the end is nigh. Mm, no! Open. Don't go towards the light! Go towards the light! Okay, so this is all good. Power is at about 20% right now. I was gonna say, why is everything producing so fucking slowly? Because yeah, we power. committed to a different power strategy for a very, very long time, and now we're trying to switch to accumulators, and we have like a six to ten, maybe twenty hour period of accumulator backlog we need to build up. Uh, that much oil worth of accumulators. I was I was nighttime would have mm -hmm. sufficed. You could have just said it's nighttime. <laughs> Let me give you a, a more a more specific explanation. <laughs> oh so good. You're such a sad <laughs> Oh dear God. So good. Okay, well, things are running at the moment. It's basically, <laughs> for all intents and purposes, the Omni Smelter. If you think of it like a, um, like, uh, I don't know, like, like a lock system, the floodgates are, are, are jammed open right now. So it's not intelligently trying to decide which ores to release or what to take off the trains or even using the, um, the Omni, State, uh, Omni Smelter stack stations, <laughs> but it's working. I like to think of it like the arc reactor from Iron Man. Okay. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Right. It's just a science okay. project to keep the hippies happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I was going to say, I, I have a... I, have I was a wondering where you were going with that. I was like, this sounds, <laughs> this sounds suspicious. I'm suspicious of what's coming next. I've got this funny feeling. That was glorious. <laughs> that was glorious. Uh, but, but, if there's a takeaway from that, it's that when the technology is actually advanced and miniaturized, it's going to be badass. And yeah. we're going to be flying around, and it's going to be great. Indeed. So when's that happening? Hmm? Hmm? I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why my ball wasn't moving at all. Wow. For the last, like, minute... Inputs don't work. It's because there are a bajillion <laughs> accumulators and solar panels being built, I think. Yeah, just a few. Because so if you can I, look, I think a rumble has killed you. That might be something to do with it, possibly. That's fine. Yeah, I, I think you may be, may be being a rumbled. I'm not even rubber banding this time. I, the inputs just don't do anything. You're behind by eight. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean, <laughs> behind by eight? I have no idea. Oh, no, 12 now. <laughs> Oh god, it's getting worse. Whatever. <laughs> oh, 10. It's catching up. I stopped pressing buttons Stop in pressing. case that helps. Oh, it, it doesn't could help. Could it just be 15 frames, maybe? Or 15... Oh, it's fucking I, I'm, I'm not getting 15 frames. No, that you're behind by. <laughs> I, don't, I definitely don't think it's frames. I don't know, because, yeah, 15 frames, if the game is set to run at 60, that's only a quarter second. It's probably 15 how. seconds. <laughs> Jeez. 
Mm. We've reached we've reached that point where I can't keep up with the game anymore. I'm is hoping this is just because we're, we're, we're well into a recording saves, session. Don't you? Hmm? you got pretty big saves yourself, don't you? Yeah, I don't... I Well, I think... It's, it's, don't think it's possibly dangerous. something to do with the connection or the fact that we're well into a recording session. I don't know, man. This is, like... Like, it's weird that it's are, worse than pretty fucking advanced. It is this is bigger than any any save that I that I do videos of definitely. So, it's possible, but it's at no, worse think... levels than the old laptop was. And the old laptop was a lot worse than this one. No, you've got you've got to remember that your PC is trying to keep up with us. Uh, your laptop's trying to keep up with us, whereas a single player save will just slow down. Like, good I won't mess around with not keeping up. It'll just slow down. Mm. Yeah, very good point. Your, U your UPS will change instead of the FPS. Yeah. So whereas we're sitting on sixty, and I'm sending you sixty. Mm -hmm. Your laptop would have just went. Now nah, let's make it twenty or ten, yeah. or whatever your Five. FPS UPS is. Five point five. For comparison, Five. for comparison, Bentham, I'm getting fifty to fifty-eight FPS with F6 on. <laughs> so, okay, I could just wait. Wait to make the guy feel bad. Well, I, I know that, I can, that explains though why he's. Oh, we knew why he has. He's got a laptop. He's got a fake computer. Oil three's <laughs> under attack again. This is my job There's now. I just check the map and tell you things. <laughs> There's a mouse that runs he around has the internet. A player aid. I can't actually scroll around the mouse. I have to zoom out and zoom in on different bits. God. Oh, Bentham. I feel I'm guilty sorry, now. Man. Yeah. We, we've broken the game for Bentham. How did you uh, tell those beacons to have more modules? Did huh? you place down a blueprint for these ones? Yeah, I placed down a blueprint. Okay. Because I was wondering if there's a way to do that without blueprinting. Like, just say, like, hey, when there's one available, put one in here. Like, like right shift click or something. I don't know. Oh, I wish. No. Just I, remove it, blueprint. I, every time I come over here, I have no modules, because they all disappear on, on the route. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, sorry, did you... Are you trying to keep a hold of modules, or...? Me? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to... Right now, you can see I put a lot of productivity modules into the red, the advanced circuits. Uh-huh. But I, I want the greens to be covered. I want this whole thing. Recently, I pulled some of the beacons that were not affecting the majority of machines. You know, yeah. I wanted only the beacons that hit as many machines as they possibly can, so four sources in most cases, or four receivers, rather. Yeah, so the edge ones aren't receiving anything. Yeah. Just to try to make do with what what few modules we have. Do we have actually... Problems. Are we actually requesting right now um, copper or iron or brick to be put onto the belts? Mm, don't know. Or has it always been assumed that it would be put on the belt by the smelter? Yeah, no, I think everything that your your new smelting setup is making is just going into storage. I don't think there's anything pulling right. it out. Well, I'll get yeah. to things. I can, I can kind of sort that. Oh, I'm back. I can move again. Yay! Well, it shouldn't be too hard. Just... Yeah, if we just change the, um, the chest up here into request, as it'll do. I'm going to walk somewhere more interesting right. in case it happens it's again. No, I think you should do do something okay. simpler than that. What? Um. I mean, Steve's already hard at work, so you need to talk quickly. You're on timer. I'm trying to remember if I had a blueprint for four belt or not. I got a, a very simple little layout for a single blue belt, but actually, you'll be able to just uh, copy that whole thing. With a blueprint, so I'll just get rid of these so you can do that. Like... The requesters, though, are adjacent to the providers, so the requesters are going to request from the chests adjacent to them, which is sort of silly. Ooh, yeah, it's very true. You need, you need to set up a. Uh, uh, I can just set up the. Do a combinator. Service. No, I just set up the stacking set to only pull out for a certain. If there's over a certain amount in the network. Although yeah, your okay. requesters only drop if there's a certain amount coming out of the chest, not network. Right. 
that's to make sure the robots have access to some before it goes down to the bus. Ah, Otherwise... okay. Uh, you've got you've got 10k on the the ones picking up from the belts. Yeah. So if you have 10k on the ones dropping off. Yep. They'll they'll draw from storage if there's a bunch in the storage rather We're than trying attack. to take from the bus. Yeah, I was gonna say you've yeah. got to remember as well that um, storage comes before providers, so it will always draw from storage first. Storage comes before providers? Passive yes. providers? Yes. Are you sure? Yep, pulls from storage I... first, then passive providers. I thought that it was it, that it treated passive providers and storage identically. I thought that they no, were the there's same. A, there's a thingy. There's a, a mm. hierarchy. It's active storage passive providers. I didn't know that. I still think you should be able to reserve slots and chests so that you could make something storage and say, this is where I want you to store this. Yeah. But you can't do that. <laughs> mm. Would be nice. Well, anyway... Uh, I guess the, the time. time. Oh. Good. This, this, like this got, we, terrible uh, leg will end. Accomplished? Hooray. I don't think we got anything accomplished. I definitely didn't. <laughs> I feel really bad. We're going to need to try and fix that before we, uh, we come back for the next session. Yeah, it's not going to do just to have Bantam there. Though it would be kind of amusing for him to, you know, just basically be a... Uh, be a, a robotic announcer for everything going on. He could just sit to... there going, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You are now our clock. <laughs> it, I it was happened. thinking of you being something a bit more awesome, like, I, I don't know, uh, uh, an attack earlier, Helicopter. early warning system. But no, he wants it to be a clock. It happened as well when I, one time when I did a, a Factorio MMO stream with a I think it was, was it with Stijo? I think it was me. with Stijo. Yeah. yeah and I just got stuck, and so people belted me around places. That is amazing. So I could, so I could see things. And then they built a shrine around possible. me. It got a bit weird. The most brilliant use of anything. I think I've well, anyway, In the right. next episode, I will set up the um, circuit conditions of the Omni Smelter, and I'll just actually set up the gates to close properly rather than just jamming everything open on, on full blast. Yeah, and we need to get and it making we'll steel as well. Properly. Yeah. Because we're still short yeah, well, on steel. That's going to be a little bit harder, though, because now yeah, we're... awkward. Originally, we, we had a station for iron, so I could have a train that would occasionally drop in, grab a train load of iron plate, then drop it off in the smelter again, and then it would just work its way through the system. We could cobble together yeah. something that extracts them from the output belts and sends them back in, maybe... Yeah, yeah, we could definitely do that. But we'll look into those options in the next episode, and then I will start rebuilding the system smaller, better, etc., etc. Scooter. Right. Well, with that, we shall say goodbye. Thank you for watching, and we shall see you next time. Take Bye. care, everyone. See you soon.